What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are rocking out with a Hyper Beam Sylveon team for Ranked Regulation G. Now, when it comes to Sylveon, this Pokemon is going to be the first one I want to talk about for today's team preview, considering it rocks the Pixelate ability. If you guys do not know what that ability does, any normal move will now turn into Fairy for Sylveon. So we got Hyper Voice, Hyper Beam, and Quick Attack, three normal moves that will all be now Stab Fairy moves because of this ability. Absolutely love it. We can do some big time damage with all these moves, especially with the fairy terror type and the fairy feather giving it even more of a fairy damage boost. Absolutely love Sylveon. I feel like a lot of you guys like Sylveon too. One of the cooler evolutions. Our restricted Pokemon on today's team features Shadow Rider Calyrex, one of the best restricted Pokemon in all of Regulation G. It has as one ability with the choice specs as an item, Rockin' Echoes, Terror type, Astro Barrage, Psy Shock, Palm Puff, and Trick to hand off that choice specs. Another Pokemon that I do want to discuss is going to be Talonflame. I feel like Talonflame is just a fan favorite. I absolutely love this Pokemon. I feel like a lot of my viewers love this Pokemon. It's just a lot of fun to use. It's got Gale Wings as its ability, Rock and Sharp Beak with Flying Terror type, Brave Bird, Tailwind, Faint, and Quick Guard. Love this moveset right here considering you can do big time stab damage, you can get speed control, you can take off protects, and on top of that you got Quick Guard stopping any first turn priority move. Our final three Pokemon on today's team feature Stellar type Urshifu for big time physical attacking damage, Ogre Pond to deal with Kyogre teams, and last but not least, we got our support Pokemon with Gothitelle, or I should say Shadow Tag Gothitelle. Guys, you want to run the team for yourself, run the code is at the top right hand corner, and if you do enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop into our first match showcasing the Sylveon team. First match on its way, and we're going up against a Regiram team here in match number one. They also have Murkrow, the OG Scarlet and Violet Tailwind user, and then they got Fluttermane, Iron Tusk, not Iron Tusk, Great Tusk, Rillaboom, and the Stonehenge Pokemon, Stone Journer. So they do have Power Spot Stone Journer here. They could pair it up with Fluttermane. I think speed is going to be a pretty big factor for us and for them. So I think leading our bird is pretty safe for us. So I'm going to go in with the bird. I'm also going to go Sylveon. I feel like the bird is going to be great for Tailwind and for Quick Guard purposes. We can Quick Guard a nice little fake out. Kind of stop all that nonsense and really get after it with Sylveon. So I like going Talonflame. I like going Sylveon. I like Calyrex here. And last but not least, do we go Urshifu or do we go Wellspring Ogre Pond? What's my play here? Ogre Pond's pretty solid. Ogre Pond's pretty solid. Horn Leech, Ivy Cudgel. We love both those moves. And we super effective onto the Tusk, onto the Stone Journer. Um, but Urshifu's just great. I mean, Sucker Punch is just a huge thing. Close combat could be good. I like Urshifu. I like the Focus Ash, man. The Focus Ash is just so big. Like, just having that extra turn because of Focus Ash is just so massive at some points, especially as a back-end Pokemon. I just like having a Focus Ash Pokemon. It works out more times in favor than not, right? Like, there's countless times where I won match solely on a Focus Ash or relying on Focus Ash to take a turn, right? It's just so big. But they're going to end up going Mur Murkrow and Kiram White, or not Kiram White, Reshiram here. And I think from here, this is just a simple terror for us in the fairy, right? And looking for a big time damage boost alongside with the Tailwind. So I'm gonna go Tailwind. I'm gonna Terrasize. I could Hyper Beam, but Hyper Voice is most likely better for us. And that's just what I'm gonna do. So Terrasalizing Sylveon early on in the match. Looking for some big time damage. I mean, it's gonna be Stab. It's gonna get the uh, Fairy Feather boost. It's gonna be Terra boost it. A lot of boosts. I mean, we get a super effective boost into Murkrow and into Regiram. Actually, it's neutral into Regiram right now because it's Fire and Dragon. Kind of cancels each other out, but still. I'll take a neutral shot all day. So I click that terror button. We're going to go for a Tailwind. I wonder what Murkrow is doing here. Murkrow is a little scary. We do get off our Tailwind first. I mean, it don't really matter if you are going for Tailwind, right? And no, you're not going for Tailwind. So this could actually work really well for us. This could work really well for us. Yeah, we just dump on Murkrow. Bye-bye, Murkrow. Get it on out my face. No Tailwind for you. We have speed control for pretty much the rest of the match. You know, for a Heat Wave, that's no big deal. My Pokemon are soaking. No burns? Doesn't look like any burns. We'll take that all day. So hot start for us here so far. Sylveon, Terra boosting, getting after it. We got the speed control now. And they're going to go in the Robo. Who could fake me out? But I mean, at this point, we're just going to pop a quick guard. And we're going to throw another hyper voice. Give me no reason not to. A little bit of quick guard action. And go into hyper voice. Getting off some big time damage. You might even protect your Ram here. I wouldn't be surprised to see that. I would not be surprised. Honestly, I could just went for a Brave Bird. But I think going for Quick Card's better. Being able to get off this Hyper Voice at least. Very big for us. And once a Pokemon dies out here, I mean, we just get out Calyrex and he can just rip up. 
So we quick guard up. A lot of people don't expect the quick guard. So if they think that's going to get blocked. I love quick guard. People don't expect it. It's so underused. And now Hyper Voice can fly out speeding. Can we get a little bit of higher roll and KO? No, we don't. We leave this thing on 1 HP. 1 HP. And now, honestly, quick guard is going to be our best friend here. You give me no reason not to just go into a quick guard. And the reason I want to use quick guard is because right now I know Sylveon outspeeds, and the only way Sylveon could die is through a first turn priority move. So if we just quick guard their uh, Grassy Glide, if they're going to go for it, we can just send a Hyper Voice and pretty much just KO. And they already cancel battle. So Sylveon and Talonflame dominating, picking up a sweep. Moving on to our second match, and I would love to get Sylveon out there even more. A lot of fun using that Pokemon, dominate so much. Plus, it's going to be super effective up against a few Pokemon going into this match. They got Chiyu, they got Dragonite, they got Shen Bao, they also have Urshifu, Ndidi, and Shadowrider Calyrex. So, one thing that stands out to me is going to be first turn priority and speed control. And honestly, Talonflame is going to be our best buddy for both of those. Tailwind, Quick Guard, we love both of them. So, I am going to end up going into Talonflame. And do I just lead? Sylveon, I feel like Sylveon is just such a great option. I, I, I'm fine going in with the same lead. We have Calyrex in the back end, and then last but not least, I think we gotta go same squad. Urshifu, looking nice, looking real nice. I mean, they got, they do have Psychic Terrain. Psychic Terrain could be a little bit, bit of a problem, but I just like Urshifu here. Again, the Focus Sash works so well. If they want to stop first turn priority, that's no big deal. I got the Focus Sash. I can do big time damage with Close Combat or Wicked Blow. You name it, this Pokemon is the real deal. So we'll see who they want to lead here. My lead in the last battle picked up a sweep. Sylveon just terrestrializing. We're quick guard and we're tail winning on the other side with Talonflame. We picked up easy win. Easy win in match number one. Hopefully we can grab ourselves another easy win here. Let's just see who they end up leading. It's going to be Dragonite Shen Pao. No, it's going to be Urshifu Shen Pao. So honestly, I don't mind this. I mean, I could set up a tail win. And I could just Fairy Terra and go into a Hyper Voice. Hmm. The real problem that we have here, we have one big problem. And our big problem is Surgeon Strikes KO and Sylveon. That's our main problem. I have no problem setting up Tailwind here. Not a single problem setting up Tailwind here. So I'm going to set up the Tailwind. And do I Fairy Terror? I think we go for the Fairy Terror. I mean, we're super effective onto both. We are super effective onto both. I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go for it. They're going to Terrasalize to Urshifu. So Urshifu's going to get Terra. Hopefully it's Shen Pao. That'd be even better, but it's definitely Urshifu. Yeah, it's going to be Urshifu in the water. That is scary. I should have maybe braved him a bit, but... I mean, then they outspeed and they're getting off certain strikes regardless. But our worst play would be them protecting Shen Pao and then Terrasalizing, which they already Terrasalized, so if they protect Shen Pao, that can be tough. But again, I do get off a Tailwind, which is huge for us. Tailwind is huge. Tailwind is huge. But now I have Tailwind, or I will have Tailwind out here. There it is. And I will get off a of Hyper Voice because we don't see a Protect come out here. Hyper Voice flying here. Actually, going for Sucker Punch. That works fine. That works fine. You actually outspeed me. You choice? That's fine. You take out Talonflame in one shot, which I kind of wanted Talonflame. I actually really wanted Talonflame. I actually really want Talonflame. I'm super surprised you outspeed this Sylveon. You're choice. You are so choice. You are so choice. We do ridiculous amount of damage, but what are the odds of this? Both of them on one HP. Both of them. Both of them on one HP. Hmm. Who do I go into from here? You might be faster than Urshifu. from here. I would love to just go for a Sucker Punch there. I know that thing's choice. I know you're faster than Urshifu. But the problem here is, they can just Sucker Punch me. And that's that's no good because I just die out to that. So I, I'm pretty much forced to go into you. I mean, what are you, 50 speed higher than Sylveon? Yeah. I'm going to go into you. I could Focus Ash up, but I just think Sucker Punch is going to be the play. I mean, honestly, I could just Quick Attack with Sylveon. But I'm not faster. Actually, I am. What am I What am I thinking? Why, why aren't I doing this? Why aren't I going for Sucker Punch there and Quick Attack here? He's choice into certain strikes. Yeah, that's a simple play. I probably should have just went into what's called here. I probably should have just went into my uh, Calyrex. Let's be honest. I should have went into Calyrex here. And realized that I had quick attack. But I didn't really... I kind of forgot that we had that. So Sucker Punch going to pick up the KO onto you. Beautiful. And quick attack's going to pick up the KO onto the other Urshfu. So Sylveon killing it. 
Sylveon killing it so far. Killing it so far. So we have Tailwind for two more turns, which is massive. But that was the thing I was scared of. I thought he was going to go for certain strikes into Sylveon. That's where my whole thing was like a problem. I thought he was just going to KO Sylveon and that was going to be rough for us. But he ended up going after Talonflame, which we love even more. So we get rid of Shen Pao, we get rid of Urshfu. Chances are they do have Dragonite in the back end and Calyrex. And yeah, there, here comes Calyrex. And next Pokemon is going to be da -da -da, Chiyu. Oh, this is scary. This is real scary. They don't have Terra though. Should I just throw a Sucker Punch? I mean, we outspeed. There's no point in throwing a Sucker Punch. We might as well hit this thing with Wicked Blow, just in case it protects and go into a Hyper Voice. I could Hyper Beam. I could Hyper Beam, but Hyper Voice is probably a play. Actually, I'm going to Hyper Beam. I'm going to KO the Chiyu. I'm going to play this one simple. Wicked Blow is going to fly here. That's going to KO you. See you later. And we're going to Hyper Beam finish off this match. Let's go, yo. This Sylveon team lighting it up so far. Almost another sweep. Talonflame died out, but we're going to be able to use Hyper Beam, which is going to be Stab. It's going to be boosted like crazy. Hyper Beam's already like base 150. Get on out of here. Not a lot of Pokemon can survive a Hyper Beam, especially a Fairy Hyper Beam. So guys, we're 2-0. We'd love to grab ourselves a perfect record, but Sylveon is lighting it up. If you guys made it this far in the video, don't forget to leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. Huge shout out to everybody who has been supporting me along this Pokemon journey. We actually have very dope videos coming out here. I might transition my channel to something a little bit different, more like top 10 or more kind of like Wolfie video styles, but hopefully we'll see how that goes. I, do, I should have a video coming out very soon, but I kind of want to upload those videos alongside with keeping double battles still going so again we'll just see how it goes hopefully you guys do enjoy the new videos but we got 40 seconds to pick going up against zamasenta now zamasenta really strong pokemon hits really hard kyle Rex obviously coming on our team the question is do we lead it or do we not lead it? it's actually not a bad leak i could go talent flame i could go kyle Rex. i could honestly just go kyle Rex alongside with like gothitelle and force them not to swap out and maybe just go from there right just start throwing damage on the floor because we could fake out at that point and that's something i really like i'm gonna go calyrex i'm gonna go gothitelle i'm gonna bring sylveon in the back end and last but not least i think we're gonna end up going into ogre pond ogre pond's just great can't be spored gonna be super effective onto that incineroar on top of that it has a nice chance of critting so if we can pick up a crit on the samazenta we can do some nice damage on that. we're thriving but two and oh so far sylveon Legit MVP of today's video. Hyper Voice in its way to victory in match number one. Same thing with match number two, just picking up some big time damage and then switching over to Quick Attack and Hyper Beam using all of its moves in match number two. Let's see who they end up leading here. Would love to grab ourselves a perfect record. They go Urshifu and Incineroar, which I don't mind. I don't mind. This is Dark uh, Urshifu. And let's see who actually goes first. Who's going to be faster, Incineroar or Gothitelle? That's the real question. I would love to just fake out their, uh, I would love to just fake out their Urshifu here. And we should be faster than this Incineroar, so I should just be able to go for fake out here. Into you. And honestly, just trick this thing into choice spec. Or I could hard swap my, I could hard swap into Sylveon, which is bad. Because they can't swap, which is great, and then I could just start helping Andy. Not a bad play. Yeah, we probably should have let Sylveon regardless. Sylveon would have been awesome because they can't swap. I can swap. They can't swap. Shadow Tag looking awesome. Looking real good for us. So I'm going to swap the Calyrex. I'm going to get out Sylveon. Maybe look to just go Helping Hand, Terra Boost it, Hyper Voices. And kind of go from there. But he's just going to detect this turn, which is fine. Are you going for a fake out or a knockoff into me? Oh, I'm going to be upset if this is a knockoff. I'm going to be real upset if this is a knockoff into my Sylveon slot. It is. Oh, man. I want that Fairy Feather. I really want that Fairy Feather. But, I mean, no big deal. I mean, I still like Helping Hand here. And I still like going into Terra Hyper Voice. I just think the damage output's good. They can't swap. They cannot swap. We keep Calyrex in the back end for later. And we'll figure out what they want to do here, because Helping Hand's going to boost this Hyper Voice really well. I just really wish we had that Fairy Feather for, I think it's a 1.2 times multiplier. Just that extra boost could really help us out. But that knockoff flying in this slot really hurts the soul. 
So I'm going to pick up the Terra here. Go straight into Fairy. I want that damage boost. I want all the damage boosts in the world. And I really want Sylveon thriving out here. I mean, going up against both these guys, typing-wise, Sylveon's just in a better place. Right? They got Dark and Fighting and Fire on the field. Fire's the only one that hits them for neutral. We should be chilling here. So I'm going to help hand. Hopefully you go for a Sucker Punch and, like, Gothitelle or something. And you're going to go for a Wicked Blast. So you're just going to KO Gothitelle, which is no big deal. I mean, Gothitelle really got off some value there. And Hyper Voice should KO the Urshfu, so I don't mind taking that trade all day. Hyper Voice flying. Are you sashed? I think you're sashed. I feel like you're sashed. Yeah, you're sashed. We pick up some nice damage. That's some nice damage. That is some nice damage. That is some beautiful damage. And he's just going to Parting Shot. Now, I wonder if Parting Shot would have worked if I was still on the field with Shadow Tag. I'm really curious on that. I'm really curious on that. And I really wish I would know if... Oh, Zamasenta comes out here. Zamasenta comes out here. I was going to say, I'm really curious because I would love to go into Pollen Puff into... I could trick here and hand the choice specs off to Zamasenta. And dodge a... Oh, I could dodge a what's called at the same time. I think I'd rather keep my choice specs, so I'm just going to go into Overfine here. Play it safe. Maybe just go for follow me. Maybe just go for follow me. Quick attack. I think I'd rather just go follow me into a hyper voice here. That's exactly what I'm going to do. And I mean, if you're going for sucker punch, I mean, you're missing anyway because of follow me. So quick attack don't really matter. We might as well just go for hyper voice with the follow me. So my plan here is to just, you know, deal some damage. Wait for my Calyrex to... They come back out here and then look to just like do some big time damage onto this. So he's just gonna end up detecting, which is fine. I mean, I want to hyper beam down the Samazenta as well. They're going for a follow me, but this makes me think you're going to go for a uh, a iron defense. You do go for iron defense. Hmm. I mean, that's fine because we have a bunch of special attackers. I mean, Ogre Punk is just following me out the rest of the game. Which is actually beneficial for us. So yeah, I mean, Iron Defense doesn't really do anything besides boost its body press. Honestly, he soaks that Hyper Voice rather well. We're gonna go for another Follow Me. We're gonna go for another Hyper Voice here. You give me no reason not to. No reason not to. So Follow Me, another Hyper Voice to look to KO with the Incineroar. Or not Incineroar, Urshifu. And then... See what they do, because... Incineroar is one shot pretty much away from dying. Urshavu's on 1 HP. Zamazenta slowly taking damage. Body press can KO me, which is terrifying. Which is terrifying. Body press looking scary. He's plus 3 on defense. So honestly, Ogre Punch is not doing anything. He really isn't doing much. Besides follow me. Which is fine. We go for the follow me. Urshavu should outspeed and go first. And he doesn't. Heavy Slime's gonna fly here, and I'm soaking that. We want to go after Sylveon. He's gonna go for a Wicked Blow here as well, which should KO. It does not, so we buy another turn here. We buy another turn of Follow Me, which is massive. We're going to go for another Hyper Voice, and if they throw back out Incineroar, we might just protect both of them. Which would be in our best interest. Protect both of them, go for another Follow Me, go for another Hyper Voice. Just play this one slow, right? I mean, if they're going to allow us to get off Hyper Voices, it's going to be really good for us. And yeah, they're going to go into Incineroar, so you give me no reason not to detect and Spiky Shield here. And then go for another Follow Me Hyper Voice KO the Incineroar, pick up more damage on the Zamazenta. Yep, all day. Simple point for us. Real simple point for us. Real simple point for us. We're not dealing with fake outs. Alright, so slowly playing this one with Sylveon. We still have our top tier restricted Pokemon in the back end with Shadow Rider Calyrex, who is going to outspeed all these guys. So by getting rid of Urshfu and Incineroar, that leaves Calyrex to really just tee off, right? Because those were their two counters. Alright, so so far so good. He's going to go for Wygar here. And now we know he has Wide Guard. Do I just Hyper Beam the Samazenta? I think we do. I think we just unload it. I think we just get after this thing. Incineroar's gonna take some damage. So Incineroar's slow enough for Calyrex just to KO. So I think we just go for Follow Me and then we just go for Hyper Beam. I'm all about it. I'm not dealing with Wide Guard. I'm not dealing with Wide Guard. So he ends up withdrawing Incineroar. Let's see who his final Pokemon is. Who is your final Pokemon? It's gonna be Rage Bull. And he goes for the wide guard. So good call on us just to drop this. This hyper beam. 
Yeah, you weren't expecting the Hyper Beam. You were not expecting the Hyper Beam. Kind of wish I sent it into the Raging Bolt slot. Can this KO here? This is big damage, yo. Hyper Beam rips. Hyper Beam rips. This should KO. Get it on out of here. Zamazenta gone, yo. I love this Sylveon right here. This Sylveon's hands down the MVP for today's video. Just lighting it up. You name it. Hyper Voice, Quick Attack, Hyper Beam. Any of those moves, it is thriving out here. So, we are going to see a... A death of a Sylveon here. Actually, not a death of a Sylveon. Death of an Ogre, Ogre Pond. And I could honestly just spike a shield here. Which is in our best interest. I'm just going to spike a shield. It makes the most sense. Because if you're going to fake out anybody, it's going to be Ogre Pond. So hopefully he attacks Ogre Pond with fake out. It takes even more damage. And then I can quick attack him down. But we'll see a nice big time terror pop out here from Raging Bolt. A Raging Bolt coming out here with a nice little Electric Terra. Now, Raging Bolt can still win him the match. This Pokemon's got Thunderclap. So I end up Spiky Shielding. Love the damage here. And Fake Out is going to fly into Sylveon, which makes no sense. I had to recharge. Made no sense. And he ends up going for a Snarl. So I'm able to survive this shot. Snarl kind of sucks, but... I mean, we just have to get rid of Incineroar, right? So follow me, not really going to be a play for us, because, I mean, he's just going to Snarl. Let's be honest. He's just Snarling. We might as well attack. So I'm going to do that, and I'm just going to throw a Hyper Voice here. You could Thunderclap. I don't think Quick Attack's going to KO. You know, we're just going to go for Hyper Voice. I can see him going for another Snarl. Maybe you are going to go for a Thunderclap. Should have went for the follow me. Okay, you're Thunderclapping into Ogre Pond regardless. All right, that's fine. That works fine. Like I said, all I really wanted to do was get off another Hyper Voice, because Hyper Voice will KO the Incineroar. We'll deal a little bit of damage onto this Raging Bolt. And from here, I mean, we might as well launch a Hyper Beam, right? Or minus one on Special Attack. We might as well go Hyper Beam into Astro Barrage. Look to win this game, right? I don't know if both of them will KO, but hopefully, having both these Pokemon, we can get another turn off next turn. I like it. So we're going to go for Hyper Beam. We're going to go for Astro Brush. Looking for the 3-0 perfect record. I feel like I haven't got a 3-0 perfect record in a good bit. So I go for Hyper Beam. I go for Astro Brush with the choice smack. With the choice smack. And yeah, this is over. This is over. Hyper Beam finishing this off. Yo, Sylveon Elite today. This Pokemon has been Elite today. 3-0 perfect record. Pretty sure it survived every single match. It was just killing it. There you go, ladies and gentlemen, Sylveon in ranked regulation G. Feel like I showcased this Pokemon more than I should have. All three battles using it, Hyper Voice picking up KOs, Hyper Beam picking up KOs, Quick Attack even picking up KOs, doing everything we can with Sylveon and grabbing ourselves a perfect record. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.